Hi there. Are you suffering from hammer toes, bunions, neuroma, or plantar fasciitis? Or maybe you just want to create some more space in your toes because you're feeling that they are rigid and stiff or you have trouble balancing. Really this exercise is for anyone who wants to be proactive about their foot health and do something that feels really good and you can actually do just sitting and watching TV. My name is Rebecca Circle. I'm a Pilates and fitness teacher and I love helping people like you who want more ease and grace in your life. So today I'm going to show you the exercise called the shake foot. It's a fitness exercise I learned in my training. You're going to come into a comfortable sitting position, figure four with your leg crossed on top, and you're going to take your opposite hand of the leg that's on top and take your fingers and lace them inside of your toes. And I want you to go up towards the webbing of your hand. So if you cannot get into this position, don't, don't stop watching. Don't worry, you can keep going. You can go ahead and just try the first two fingers and maybe they don't go all the way up. Do the best you can. Keep doing it. I promise you, if you do this daily, it will get easier. All right, now you're gonna take your other hand, you're gonna hold onto your ankle and shin to keep that leg stable. And you're gonna take your foot and make some nice big circles, moving your foot around in your ankle joint. You might hear some pops and cracks, that's normal, that's okay. We're lubricating that joint, so this is gonna help get rid of some of that. And then I want you to reverse and feel free to flex and point your toes as you do this to get more flexibility in your toes. Now, I want you to take your thumb on the bottom, the arch of your foot and your fingers on your top for the second part and pull your toes up towards your shin, pull your toes down towards your heel and just repeat this up and down action flexing and pointing and to add to that remove your hand place it more high up on your shin flex your toes up and then also move your ankle up point your toes down and move your foot down so we're waving the foot up and down first the toes then the ankle guiding with the arm leading with the elbow a little bit Now, turn the sole of your foot towards the sky, turn the sole of your foot towards the earth, and think elbow up, elbow down, and it's not going to be completely up or completely down, it's just a small swivel that you have available or you should have available. If you don't, that's why you practice this, to prevent injury. And then to follow up, we're going to do that circle that we did in the beginning. But this time, as you circle your foot, see if you can use more of your foot to do the circle. So it's not so passive. It's more of the leader this time, and your arm is just assisting. And throughout this whole thing, ideally, you keep your fingers inside your toes because that is creating the space that you want. Go ahead and reverse the direction. So creating space is beneficial for many reasons. We're creating that mechanical um, opening that's super beneficial for bunions, um, for neuromas, uh, for balancing, um, that helps with plantar fasciitis, all of these things. We're basically teaching the toes how to be apart, and then you wanna practice being able to do that on your own. So now, take your fingers out of your toes, take a hold of your leg, give it a good shake. And then you can just practice without your fingers there to see if you can spread your toes on your own. Go ahead and put your feet side by side. Take a look at the foot that you just worked on compared to your other foot. You should notice a difference in the color. I notice a big difference in mine. The one that I just worked on is a lot brighter because there's blood flow to it and 
I can feel my toes and I have the ability to spread them more so than the other foot that I haven't worked on yet. Obviously you want to repeat this exercise on your other foot. If you liked this exercise, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you back again soon. Thanks for watching.